This is a 2022 Peterbilt 579 and it's having a transmission problems. Now in this case, we are getting this fault message here and this light then indicating there is a fault malfunction um, with the transmission. But there is no message here. Uh, oh yeah, there is a message. See, transmission fault, prepare require fine service center. So um, the problem is then if I do press the brake and try to put on gear, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Uh, this is a big issue because you can be in the middle of the road a couple miles away from the nearest city and there is nothing to do because the truck won't move at all. Um, in this case, uh, these transmissions are equipped with electronic systems they are very complicated and there is many different repairs. The, the repair, the problem that I'm going to show you in this video, it is not the problem that you probably are going to have with your um, uh, truck. In this case, if you wanna, let's see if we can see the fault codes on this, okay, where, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, the warning, the fault codes. Okay, generic fault, it doesn't tell the code number. Usually you are able to see the code number, but in this case, uh, it doesn't recognize it, see? Um, if you get a code, at least we can help. You can send me an email or something, I can help. Or someone can help you, but in this case, there is no code. Anyway, um, I have this uh, DDL software. The reason why I'm using the DDL software is because I don't have the, the software for Eaton transmissions, uh, for the newest Eaton transmissions, because there is not too many Eaton transmissions that I see. But now that I have this one, I'm going to buy this uh, the uh, software for Eaton transmissions. Anyway, um, the fault code thing we're getting is the one right here, the blue one. The, most of the time when this message is here, mechanical system not responding properly, it means then uh, the clutch actuator, in this case, it is not opening or closing, or it is reading the ground signal, which means then the clutch can be, uh, um, it can be closed, it can be applied to the, to the flywheel. And the transmission, the actuator is re is reading then the, the, the clutch is open so that means then the clutch actuator is going bad or the clutch needs an adjustment and the adjustment can only be performed with the um with the software in this case i cannot do anything else because you see we don't get anything uh because this software is not for even transmissions uh this is for detroit see we don't have anything yeah. nothing so um, I need to get the software for that. And this is the example, the, the reason why I'm doing this video. The problem is that if you don't have the proper equipment to repair these trucks, you are not going to be able to do nothing at all. Uh, the thing is like, a, um, if you are in the middle of the road and this happens to you, then you get in that fall on the dashboard and you go to the nearest shop they are not going to be able to do nothing because this, they don't have the software. And if, if they do, still it's gonna be hard because understanding these faults is pretty hard. Um, so uh, I don't say then um, it, it can happen to you, but if this happened to you, be prepared. And at least if, if you have the chance, then if you have a fault on the transmission right here, you get the fault number, this one right here look google it and um and then you're gonna find information about what is going on and but if you don't have this phone number it's not going to um it's go not going to help at all um and also we can see that then we have another fold of the cloche over here see this is about disengagement this is engagement so it's probably then the actuator is going bad and that's the reason why. So probably we need to drop the transmission and replace the actuator and that will be the solution with 
we might not need to replay to do the calibration because it's going to be the same clutch but uh, it is better to do the calibration anyway um, small video just to show you this ah and also if you wonder where is the actuator on these transmissions it is right in the inside the transmission so that over there that is the transmission so you have to remove the transmission in order to get access to the actuator it is not like the old style the old Eton transmissions then the actuator was on the bottom of the transmission on the on the bed housing so in this case the transmission uh, has to be removed in, in order to access the clutch um, I mean the actuator in this case because we are going to replace the actuator and then when you are replacing the actuator you can check the clutch if the clutch is bad replace the clutch then place the new clutch and all the process you know that's how the way it was anyway uh, this is a small video I'm going to show you about this period build and the problems that you can face with these transmissions automatic transmissions and I want to keep on doing more videos about these transmissions um, as well as I'm doing a videos of DT12 but uh, this is my first video doing a Cummins transmission or an Elon transmission because there is an association they have between those and also if you really want to see if the Cummins software reads something no, the Cummins software doesn't read anything, see? there is no fault codes uh, refresh, see, nothing so the software has the ability to connect to see uh, transmission but it's not capable to connect so which means then you need the new software possible to connect to these transmissions um, see uh, right here see transmission but see the parameters are not see is nothing here so I cannot even get access to this see the rest also two, see, and this, there is this. Alright, whatever. Uh, so, well, I'll give you an update later if we can continue on working on this truck because it's going to be a little expensive for the owner, especially in 2023. This is the uh, year we are right now, 2023. Um, it's very expensive, very hard because the uh, lots are not getting paid well. So I don't know what the owner is going to do. So hopefully he decides to repair it but depends on the income he's getting at the moment. Anyway, uh, this is all I'm going to show you. I'm gonna give you an update later on this video build and the repair, uh, then uh, it's going to be done. And if you have any questions, uh, comment below, follow me on Instagram at Francisco Maya YouTube, and thank you for watching.